righteousness. Number three, Matthew chapter 9 and verse 11. A Pharisee does not mix with sinful people. He only mixes with his holy crowd of people. And he thinks that he's holy because of that. They looked at Jesus and they asked the disciples, Why does your teacher mingle with sinners? Jesus mingled with sinners. The Pharisees don't mingle with sinners. Is your holiness something that cannot mingle with unconverted relatives, cannot mingle with uh, unconverted people because you'll be defiled? You only sit with your own people all the time. I want to say, that's not holiness. You may have fellowship with God's people, that's true. But if you're only friends, Jesus was the friend of sinners, can you be better than him? No. We're supposed to be the friend of sinners if we are like Jesus. But if you're like the Pharisees, you'll say, ah, oh, sinners, they're another category. We mingle with other Pharisees. All our fellowship is with other Pharisees. So if you're like that, it's a mark of a Pharisee. You know, a lot of people think, we must have nothing to do with our unconverted relatives. That's what the Pharisees said. Oh, I won't go to my uh, unconverted relative's wedding reception. Pharisees didn't. That's not holiness. It's a deception. Jesus would have gone to an unconverted relative's reception. He would have gone. He went to sinners' houses where they have uh, all type of dancing and drinking. He'd go there and he'd share the gospel with those people. He, he didn't defile him. His righteousness was inward and so he did not avoid sinful people and think he was holy just because he mingled with holy people. He's, most of the time he spent with his disciples, that's true. He wasn't always hanging around with sinners, no. He, most of his time he spent with really godly people, those were the eleven disciples. But he was a great friend of sinful people, otherwise how would he win them? How will you ever win sinners to the Lord if you don't... Uh, uh, seek to be friendly with them. A good question you can ask yourself is very searching question. In your own church, in your own church, how many people have been brought to your church by you? Okay? Please ask that question throughout, throughout 2005. How many people have come to your church because of you? Probably the answer after 20 years is zero. Because you're so holy, you will not mingle with sinful people. And some of you may be elder brothers who've been elder brothers for years and you've not even brought one person to your church because of you. You just stand up there and preach to them. You're a Pharisee. It's good to see that. It's great hope for honest people.